is Friday and we are live at five. So let's just wait for a few people to join in and we'll get started. Hello. Oh, hello, Scottish Frocktails. I need to email you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Nice to see people join in. Nice not to be alone. Hello, Annette. <laughs> Annette came to the shop this morning. Hi. Have you got home safe? It was lovely to see you. Just checking that the um that the camera is set up okay for the YouTube recording as well. I'm going to be recording a separate YouTube video about my holiday makes directly after this. So I'm um, it's social media heavy today. <laughs> Glad you got back okay. <laughs> Hi everyone, how is everybody today? It's very, it's lovely and sunny here this evening, so it's nice, it's very uplifting. Hi, hi, hi. Right, we'll just give it one more moment and then we'll get stuck in. I've just had a malfunction with making my coffee. Um, the coffee machine arrived this week, woo! Um, and I've been getting used to using it. It's, it's very simple, but you know, it's, it's new, so I've been practicing a bit and um, testing it out on people, but <laughs> I just thought, oh, I'll just put a cappuccino on and um, go and fix my hair before we started. And then I could hear it going and going. I was like, what's going on? And when I came back, the mug was just overflowing with milk. <laughs> so clearly I've pressed something wrong there and I've got a bit of a clean up operation to do later, but never mind. I I have got a, a flat white now and the coffee is amazing. So yeah, we're up and running with that. You can now get a coffee at Jenny Stitches. <laughs> and tea of course if you don't like coffee right so who have we got hi sue nice to see you and deb thanks for my lovely material that arrived today you are very welcome i've had a few emails and messages off people that got parcels today so that's always nice it's nice to know that they get there safely uh viv has a day off and is sewing as she and no sewing as she has diy to do oh boo i know that feeling very very well viv <laughs> very well okay so who's ready to see some autumnal fabrics can you believe that there's only what less a week of august oh oh lost you for a moment there the signal went a bit funny hi Ooh. Right, um, yeah, can you believe there's only a week of August left to go and then we're into September and unfortunately, as much as I might like to deny it, that does start that long, well, very quick slide down into winter. Um, we might get a nice September, you never know. Um, sometimes the first couple of weeks are lovely. Um, I am going to kick off by showing you some baby cards, um, commonly known as 21 whale card, if you've seen it described as that, but basically nice lightweight needle cord which is lovely to wear i think you can see from the way that this one moves and drapes that it's it's fine it's not stiff like you would get in trousers and skirts it's more of the shirty kind of a weight so perfect for dresses and shirts if you're not familiar with baby cord um now then this one is the small flowers i've got four prints to show you and four planes nice balance um but I think this is very classy. This is the navy colourway. Um, navy is horrendous to show up on camera, as well as on this camera in taking photographs for the website as well. So I'd like to do a few more for the website because the ones that I've put on aren't incredible. But if you can see it here, then you know what you're looking at back on there. Um, but yeah, we've got this little floral design here. Very, very smart. And I think that would lend itself to just about anything. Um, nice dresses, a lightweight pinafore, possibly. Um, children's wear, perfect. Skirts, blouses, really, really versatile. So that's the navy colourway of small flowers. <laughs> this was not very inventive. I only put this on the website this afternoon. So that is brand new, brand new. Um, my cup's going to be full of bits of fabric, isn't it? Then we've got the same design, but in this lovely mauve. So a nice purple. 
very me. <laughs> and I'll just show you that up close so you can see the flowers. But yes, beautiful. So, which is your favourite, navy or purple? Let me know. Always interesting to see which one sells the fastest. I'm going to just pop these out of the way for the time being. Okay. Um, also in the baby card line, there's a vote for navy. We've got cute flowers. So not small, but cute. And they really are cute. Very sort of poppy, cutesy kind of fun, these florals. Yep, I'm with you, Viv. I'm a navy fan too, but the purple beautiful okay so yeah, it's got a little kind of lilac and yellowy flowers on it on a black base so a little bit different you can see the scale there what do we think of this one i think it's very very pretty i have a hankering to make um a shirt dress in baby card i don't know why any pattern suggestions anybody but that is cute flowers in black and then closely followed by cute flowers in denim. I think this one's going to be popular. Um, you can see here, you can see that colour. Try and get it a little bit closer for you. Nice sort of light denim blue. Fun, but warm, just very pretty. Yes, to a shirt dress. We were talking about shirt dresses this morning, weren't we, Annette? <laughs> um, and I think it's simplicity 8014 that we were talking about and I never got a chance to show you but yes or the um it's Megan Nielsen isn't it the Megan Nielsen Matilda we were looking at a Tilly and the Buttons olive pinafore yes yes I made an olive last year in an eight whale card and it is by far and away one of my most favorite things I've ever made hi Rach nice to see you so those are the prints um <laughs> yep a pencil skirt would be perfect i think sometimes when you get a fabric and a print like that you really don't need to make it complicated just simple pretty straightforward easy dare i say it and yeah it doesn't it doesn't need to be ott because the fabric's doing the work for you and we like that okay so planes can you sense the autumnal color palette <laughs> Can I make a victory dress with these babies? Do you know, I don't know which one the victory dress is, but I am imagining somebody in the comments will be able to tell you. I'll have to look it up later. I would say as long as it's for light to medium weight wovens, it'd be absolutely fine. So, plain baby card. Oops, these are 12 pounds a metre, which I think is reasonable to be honest um <laughs> they are 100 percent cotton they're very soft and smooth they're just lovely and you can see the richness of the colors in front of me here this is terracotta can i get it close enough that you can actually see the ribs are they really too small oh. so yeah very autumnal um i am continuing my orange obsession that i have had <laughs> um it's still going strong so i'm eyeballing this um and also kind of playing into the bag making obsession that I've had recently. I'm kind of looking at these as well and thinking, oh, this will make a nice bag. <laughs> Maybe a little bit light, but with a bit of interfacing, you never know. So that's the terracotta colourway. See your shirt dress. <laughs> um, and this is a nice classic ochre kind of, try not to dip it in the coffee um, and mustard. You can see that there. Mustard always does well at this time of year. Everybody loves a bit of mustard, myself included. Um, then we have a lovely wine, a classic kind of burgundy shade. Let me know which ones you're loving so far. That's very nice. This is the colour that my olive pinafore was, but in a heavier card. And the coffee machine's doing something. It's probably angry with me now. And finally, we've got, um, I believe, I'm just going to double check, I think this one's called Moss, but it's quite a sort of cross between bottle and teal, I would say. It's somewhere in between. 
Um, gosh, my nails look so blue on there. Um, I'm having one last summer manicure. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, I'll pass you the coffee, Viv. There you go. Um, but yeah, very, very nice. Oh, hi, Caroline. Yes, the moss is a lot like the um, ocean colour of boucle that you made your blog project in last year. So... On the subject of Boucle, Boucle is back um, and I've added the new colours for this year onto the website. However, I'm not going to try and show you them here now because the, <laughs> the bolts are like this big. So all we would have is 20 minutes of me going, look at this, and it being huge. Um, but we have Forest Green, which I could not get hold of last year for Love No Money. So Forest Green is here. We've got um, Orca. I've got a lovely soft rose pink and I've got... Ecru, which is kind of just a nice cream so check those out on the website they are back in stock again they were super duper popular last year really lovely colors so so that's baby card what do we think to those nice we like them all right let's just check see what everybody's talking about yeah you all like different ones <laughs> which is good which is good, that's why I always get a selection of colours. Very hard to know what people are going to like, so. Jerseys, are we ready to look at some jerseys? <laughs> I don't feel like I've had new cotton jersey in for a while, so it's nice to get some fresh prints. Oh, Bella. Um, Now then, I wouldn't say this is overly autumnal, but I just liked it, so <laughs> it came with me. Um, this is... Um, watercolor petals I did well to remember that this has also just gone on the website today and it is your standard cotton jersey 95 cotton to 5 elastin around 200 gsm so that perfect sort of t-shirt and dress weight um, you can see that stretch and recovery there it just pops right back so the quality is beautiful um, I'm just going to get this a little bit closer for you look how well that goes with my nails <laughs> <laughs> I only got them done yesterday and I'm always obsessed with new nails. Um, there you go, you can see those colours, so really soft and pretty. This would be lovely, I'm thinking maybe some sort of long, three quarter to long sleeve t-shirt layered under a pinafore would be cute. Um, somebody, was it Alice? I don't know if Alice is watching, had um, a pattern printed yesterday um, for a Friday Pattern Company t-shirt, which I think is a like pay pay what you feel kind of a pattern or possibly free uh the friday battle has anybody made that one that caught my eye i think i might be downloading that one um but yeah that's watercolor petals so that is a white base if it's not coming up clearly very nice then we've also got you would not miss you coming in this one <laughs> this one is um a rainbow what did i call it now I can't remember now this is like a rainbow dotty bomb kind of like confetti style spots um but yeah beautiful just really nice and pretty and bright because just because it's going changing seasons doesn't mean it has to be dull so those are fun and again just that lovely quality that we come to know and love um I was thinking of making some samples for the shop so when people come in they can see patterns made up and things. Um, oh, it is like the very hungry cat. Yeah, now I've seen that. Thank you. <laughs> very hungry caterpillar, yeah. <laughs> um, I was thinking of making some samples for the shop to put on a rail so you can see what the patterns are like made up. And yeah, I was trying to decide on a t shirt pattern. So let me know which t shirt pattern you think I should make. It has to be one that is stock though. Because I can't say to people, well, here's a t-shirt, but you can't buy the pattern here. That's not very good. Now then, this one is very much on theme. This is autumn leaves. Uh, very self-explanatory, but very, very pretty as well. Very soft, very understated. This would make any number of lovely things. Nice dress. Children's wear as well. I could see Juliet wearing this one. Um, I personally would quite like nice high neck like a polo neck not a polo neck yeah you know what i mean a turtleneck i get mixed up 
Yes, that is autumn leaves. Oh, hi Vicky, how are you? Oh, so that's jersey number three. Cotton jersey number three. I do have some viscose jersey to show you as well. Um, and this beautiful French terry. So just that little bit heavier than your cotton jerseys. We're going around in circles with this. <laughs> um, with that lovely loop back, which you can see there, that just makes it so much more hard wearing. Um, this one is, it's got like a little leopard on it. Or more than one. <laughs> um, there we go, on this nice sort of rusty, browny kind of terracotta colour base. But plenty of stretch on there. I love French Terry. <laughs> it's great for just, it's just that perfect in between. It's not as light as a t shirt, but not full on sweatshirt. So I think it's a lot more wearable, especially, I guess, in the UK these days. We've all got. Um, central heating so you know we're not we're not like freezing <laughs> so it's good for layering I think but yes I think that is upside down I'm trying to get it the right way up yep you can see the scale of that one there I'll try and get those up to you a bit closer why do they roll bolts all different ways <laughs> hi <laughs> there we go very very nice um so those are leopards that would be nice on just a straightforward jumper dress. Has anyone suggested a t-shirt yet? Yes, Viv, you're right. It would be lovely under a pinafore in the rust bit. You've got it. You know what to do. <laughs> okay, let's have a sip of coffee. Mm. Okay. You know, sometimes I start prattling on and forget that this is actually live. <laughs> and I'm like, you're supposed to talk. <laughs> Okie doke. Now then, as soon as we hit September, I know the questions are going to start from people coming in about Halloween. Um, and a lot of people really love Halloween, don't they? It's, it's not mega my thing, but I get it. If you love it, you love it. And I know a lot of people are just super excited for spooky season. Um, so I've got a few bits here that are Halloween appropriate, but also not entirely Halloween. Um, also a little bit alternative, which is good. Um, so this one, <laughs> we've got some floral skulls. These are Little Johnny Cottons. Um, if you've ever worked with them before, they're gorgeous. They're digitally printed. They are 150 centimeters wide. So really, really nice. And they're that sort of perfect weight. They're not... <laughs> The soft, they're not scratchy like some of the craft cottons can be, um, but heavier than a lawn, um, but lovely for garments as well. So, yeah, I am considering making something for the window out of this one, which is cool. I think it would be cute on a little dress or maybe like a pleated skirt, something full. Um, this one, I think my daughter's going to have a field day when she sees this. <laughs> and it's kind of Day of the Dead style cats. Um, we're huge cat lovers in our house, so... Yeah. <laughs> and you can see the size of that there. I think, like, a little girl's dress in this for Halloween would be fab. Yeah, the Tabitha Tea is a good one, Elaine. Need to get some more of Tilly's books back in stock, though. I think the Agnes as well. Or I was thinking maybe the Cashmere at Concord would be a good one. Um, and this is just a bit of fun. <laughs> this is a retro boo. <laughs> and just look at these guys. I just could not resist. These little, I want to say boasties, ghosts. Um, it's got little flower power glasses on. <laughs> um, and where's the one holding the flowers at? There's one holding, hey look, he's holding a flower. How cute is that? So just fun. You could even get, maybe if you did like half a metre of each of these, it'd make a lovely little bunting set for Halloween. I um, got my box of autumnal decorations out from the loft this week and brought it down. So all of the pumpkins will be going back in the window soon. 
Hey, dear me, just flies by and then we'll be planning Christmas displays. Okay, and finally in this little collection of little Johnny Cottons um, is astrology. Now this isn't particularly Halloween, but it, it is just off the same batch. Um, and this is a very deep navy. Um, it was described as black. It's not black. It's a very inky navy colour. Um, so you'll see on the website that I've matched it with like a Gutterman Fred, which is 665, if you need to know, <laughs> which is what I would call a black navy. So a very, very dark navy, but it's definitely not black. <laughs> I'm not having it. Um, but yeah, we can see we've got zodiac things going on here. <laughs> I think this is very cool. I can see this being very popular. What do we think of those? What would you make with this? Um, there's, I need to take some photographs of this for the website as well. I usually, off this supplier, use their photos, but the one they had was rubbish. So I need to take a better one. Very nice. <sighs> Worn out. It's like intense stuff, this. Um, I have got quite a bit more to add to the website, but obviously we're not going to cover all of that today. So I'll try and get that on in the next few days. Um, and yeah, you keep your eyes peeled on the new in section. There'll be new bits and pieces being added all the time. Um, I've got a few more bits and bobs waiting to go on. I'm just gonna take this tape off this roll. Premium content, this. Masking tape. Right, <laughs> this is fab, isn't it? This is a poly viscose blend. Um, so I've got a few, or had a few other tartans in this base and it's just lovely, it's soft, it's smooth, it's nice to work with, washes well um, and yeah, there you go. I'm going to show you that in a minute Caroline, steady on, <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> um, so this is a rainbow check, I hesitate to say tartan because we're not the way. Hi Georgie! <laughs> Sorry, there's a little girl waving at me through the window there. Um, but yeah, amazing. How bright is it? It's just, just fab. How about something like an indigo? Doesn't need to be complicated. Just something straightforward so you can get the idea of the size there and the drape. But this just cheered me right up. I was like, I've got to have this because we don't want to have a dull winter. What do we think to that one? Opinions are welcome. <laughs> it's kind of strange when you're always picking on your own. You know, it's not like a job done by a committee. So, hi, Judy. Right, Caroline, here you go. <laughs> it's a fleece. <laughs> now, I don't stock a lot of fleece. Um, have a checkered history with fleece. Let's not lose the cup. Um, so when I first started out, obviously I didn't have a lot of space and I stocked a few sort of plain colours of fleece on the market stall. And every time somebody came and asked for fleece, they go, oh, not that colour. Or they'd be like, have you got a red fleece? And they'd be like, yeah, here's a red, oh, not that kind of red. <laughs> and I quickly learned that to actually sell any fleece, I would have to stock a huge range of it and it takes up such a lot of space so it's not something that I generally do a lot of um, but the odd print does grab me every now and then and I actually had my eye on this last year I'm sorry to mention Christmas <laughs> but I had to have it this time um, but yeah I don't think that needs a lot of explanation it's a polar fleece it's lovely and soft and snuggly this would be fab for things like little zip-up jackets, maybe something like the Arlo track jacket. Um, just a regular zip-up hoodie would be lovely in it. Any sort of a sweater, Christmas loungewear, pyjamas, that kind of thing. Hoodies, add a little bit of ribbon and you've got a jumper. <laughs> it would make fabulous pyjamas, Vicky. You're absolutely right. Um, yeah, it's just cool, isn't it? It's just nice. Oh! Just buy, it's a metre and a half wide, buy a metre and a half and you have a square blanket. And you can just hem it or just overlock the edges. Perfect. So, yeah, that is a fair isle fleece and it's fun. And it's, 
It's gonna fall over. No, it's not. It's um, a heck of a lot easier than trying to knit one. <laughs> that is for sure. Okay, so the last of the fabrics that I'm gonna show you are viscose jerseys. Yep, a colourful winter would be so good to keep us all in a happy mood. Yes, it would. We need it. I am determined not to succumb to the seasonal depression this time. I get it so bad. Um, and I have actually, I've really, this is such a tangent, but I've really found that taking extra strength, extra strength vitamin D supplements just sorts me right out. But if I run out after about a week, it's like the end of the world. Can't stand it, so. Take your vitamin D, people. We don't get enough sunshine in this country. Mm. Especially when you're in work all day. Now then, viscose jersey. I um, shared this one on my story, I think yesterday, and you all kind of went a bit crazy for it. <laughs> this is marbled, um, which is incredibly self-explanatory, but I'm just gonna get that out. It's really, really different. Roll a little bit off so you can see. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't it just fabulous? It's so crisp. It's just, yeah, love it. Very muted. So I think it's nice to have muted colours because it's quite natural. Um, but it's not, being a big scale print, it's nice to have the colours a little bit muted down if that makes sense. So you're not getting a double hit of uh, loud colours and big print. But yeah, very, very cool. What would you make with this? I was having a little debate with myself about this. You can even sort of tunic-y type tops. So maybe something like the um, Closet Car Ebony would be nice. Something with a good bit of swish. Mm. I'm gonna wait for a few suggestions to pop up for that one. But that is marbled. Do love a good viscose jersey. Do you feel like it's going dark already? Okay. A uh, maxi dress, yes, I think you're right. Okay, so a little bit more on the sensible line. <laughs> this is a navy with a very densely packed pin spot on it. You can see up close there. So just your regular sort of navy spot but a bit more mixed up you can't go far wrong super smart super wearable i love a bit of a navy spot <laughs> and nice when they are a bit more irregular like that it's almost got a sort of a, a wavy pattern to it that's nice something's tickled my nose <laughs> go so another larger print i would imagine this would be nice over a full dress <gasps> yeah nova jumpsuit oh my goodness what a good idea yes <laughs> um or maybe even just a long skirt in this one doesn't have to be complex just on an elasticated waist would be fab but again you've got that beautiful drape that you get with viscose jersey very very versatile I do love it it's so nice to wear but I am a fan of Jersey in all its forms. <laughs> right, and the last viscose Jersey to show you is Orange Pop. I was um, it's like <laughs> trying to think about what to call it and I was like, oh, it's got pops of orange. And I thought, oh, Orange Pop. And then I thought about Orange Soda. <laughs> and if anybody of my generation will just go, Kel loves Orange Soda. <laughs> Please tell me somebody gets that. Okay. <laughs> But again, nice and bright and uplifting, continuing the minor orange obsession, but very pretty. Oh my God, that lovely fluidity. Yes, 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 yes. Which do we like best out of the viscose jerseys? <laughs> Sarah gets it. <laughs> Here we go, Caroline. I do, I do, I do. Very bad impression. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I live in my own world. <laughs> oh, dear me. Right. So that was 30 minutes of waffle about... <laughs> oh, 
oh dear, you lot crack me up. Um, about new fabrics. Um, I do have one more new thing to show you and then I'll clear off before this gets out of hand. Um, new labels, yay. <laughs> um, so you've probably seen these around before, but these are the fabulous um, garment labels from Little Rosy Cheeks from Victoria. Um, I met Victoria at Harrogate uh, last year when I went to the show and she was so lovely. Um, she, re she really like took me under her wing and looked after me. Um, so um, yeah, I've been dying to stock her labels and I picked some up at the uh, Stitch Festival in London for my own makes. And uh, yeah, we had a bit of a chat about wholesale and I finally got them in. So there's some really gorgeous designs. Um, and what's nice is that these are all UK made, um, £6.50 a pack, all of the designs are on the, um, on the website now and I've also got a selection of the little leather patches for jeans because these totally took me, um, this will be backwards for you. <laughs> um, and it just says I made these, imagine what else I can do. Um, so. I was gonna, I bought a pack of these in London and I was gonna put them on my Dawn jeans shorts, but then I figured I think I might just save it for when I actually make jeans, so. Um, am I at Harrogate? I am not at Harrogate this year, I'm afraid. Um, I actually, um, I actually officially cancelled my place at Harrogate this week. Um, but unfortunately, and I'm gutted, I'd love to go, but unfortunately I don't have the hands or the money to attend. Um, going to shows is really expensive. Um, the stand itself is quite expensive. Um, and the travel and the accommodation and the van hire and having to close the shop for four days, five days, um, is, yeah, it's just not something that after this summer I can afford to do. However, that doesn't mean I will ever go again. <laughs> I'm hoping to go next year. Um, but I, I, I just can't do everything. I'm sorry. I wish I could. I wish I could be everywhere doing everything at all times. But yeah, um, unfortunately this year I've had to put all of my time and effort and money into this building. <laughs> so Harrogate is currently off the cards. Um, but I'm sure you'll have a lovely time. There'll be lots of other fabulous exhibitors there. So I'm going to show you a couple of my favourites. Um, we've got... Some of the standard sort of made by mum, made by grandma type ones. Um, but I am a particular fan of this one. You are important, you are enough, and you matter. I like these positive affirmations. Very, very cute. But the colours are just fab. Um, we've got a nice little leopard print one there with I am unique on it. I'm hoping that's showing up okay. Um, but yeah, there we go. So some gorgeous ones on there they are all online now so that's uh that's also new in so very excited when that came this week and it came on this gorgeous stand as well so it's nice to have that in the shop so thank you victoria and i look forward to restocking those and adding new designs as we go along okay i'm just going to check out these comments oh lots of love for those elaine last minute question do you have any shower proof fabrics Yes, I have, um, I can't reach them, <laughs> they're over there. Um, I have some soft shell, so shower proof on the outside, fleecy on the inside. I've got that in a few different prints. Um, I do have some waterproof cotton canvas, just a little bit left, and it is genuinely shower proof. I tried running it under the tap <laughs> to prove it. Um, and do I have any of the barber left? I can't see it, but I possibly have some of the ex barber coating fabric left in stock, and I'll try and get that back in because it's lovely. Okay. Oh. Just means we need to come and visit you. Yes, you do. Let's all get on a bus and come to the shop. <laughs> Venga bus. <laughs> <laughs> right, if anybody's got any more questions, please do fire them below. You've got about 30 seconds to do so. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to head off and film a YouTube video. So, um, oh, also, this is the jumpsuit, <laughs> um, the safari jumpsuit that I made. Um, 
I was thinking this would be an awesome entry. Have you seen Sarah's challenge, the Saw Safari challenge? Um, Sarah that's on the blog team, Super Bales, I think her handle is. I will reshare her challenge after this. Is doing a sort of safari themed sewing challenge and I'm sponsoring a really nice £50 voucher prize for it. So go and check that out and join in. I think this would be a great entry, but unfortunately I've already made it. <laughs> um, Oh, you're doing polyfiller, Viv. I, I've got some stuff needs polyfiller in. The entire bathroom here needs sorting out. So, so yes, check out Sarah's challenge. Um, but I do, I do have um, a dress cut out actually in the fabric cover, fabric cover, fabric godmother cheetah lily viscose, which might make a nice entry for that. So, okay, everyone, thank you for joining me this evening. It's lovely to see you all again. I am exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> all this chat um i hope you enjoyed looking at the new fabrics remember they're all in the new arrival section on the website along with the new labels um if there's anything that you want to see next week please do just pop me a message or pop it in the comments when this is saved down and i can get those out and prepare them for you but next week will probably be more of the same we'll look at more fabric because i've got more to put in um but yeah go check it out have a fabulous weekend and before i go it's a bank holiday weekend and I do like to treat you on a bank holiday so um, we will be doing free postage on the website just for UK orders from five o'clock tonight so that's now up and until midnight on Monday so free postage weekend the code is summer's end I will pop that in the comments and I'll put a separate post up about it anyway but enjoy happy sewing happy shopping have a lovely weekend. Take care. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.